Hello, and thank you for joining me for TPM's 4-Minute Friday. Today we're going to look at custom columns in Bluebeam Review. More specifically, we'll set up custom columns to automatically assign responsibilities to our punch list. This is a pretty popular workflow, as once completed, the punch list items are automatically assigned and organized by responsible parties. So let's get started. This document has already been prepared with all the necessary spaces, so my room numbers will be assigned automatically. But before I go out and start punching my floor, I want to set up my columns so they're ready for the final report. Start by removing any columns you don't want on the summary and reorganize the columns as needed. Now we're going to create our responsibility column by clicking on the custom columns tab at the top. To find the attributes of the new column, the column's name, responsibility, is also the column header on the markup list. For this workflow, We'll set the type to choice. Now I'm going to start adding my responsible parties for my project. Enter either a person or company name in the item field. The subject field is dependent on how you want to manage your punch markups. I'm going to coordinate my subjects here with my markup subjects. Typically, I organize my punch list items by trade, so plumbing, electrical, painting, and so on will have their own subjects. For each item, Toggle on the default option. Doing this automatically assigns the responsibility when the punch item is added to the sheet. So I'm going to jump ahead and finish adding everyone for my project. I finished adding all of the names and I know I'll want to reuse these settings at another time so I'm going to click Save to Profile. This adds my custom columns to my current profile. Now I'm ready to start punch listing. As I add markups, they automatically assign to the responsible person and room. I'm going to place a few more punch list items before jumping forward. Okay, so I've completed my punch list, and as you can see, my items are all sorted by responsibility. All I have to do now is create my markup summary. I hope this video was helpful. If you would like to see any other workflows, please comment below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Once again, my name is Dan Warren, and I want to thank you for joining me today for TPM's 4-Minute Friday. I hope you have a great day.